Hello, hello. My name is James, and today we are going to be talking about colors and color contrast, and more specifically, how do we make sure that our color contrast is at an accessible level? So when it comes to color contrast and it being accessible, the main groups or audiences we're thinking about are people with low vision, people like myself, people with color blindness, and just in terms of general usability, color contrast is an important thing to keep in mind to make sure that users can see the text and the user interface components on the screen, especially on smaller screens and smaller devices. When it comes to color contrasts and contrast ratios, there's really two important ratios to keep in mind, 3 to 1 and 4.5 to 1. 3 to 1 applies specifically to large text, anything that is 18 points or larger, or anything that is 14 points bold or larger, as well as user interface components like links, buttons, controls, toggles, checkboxes, form fields, so on and so forth. When it comes to small text, that would be anything below 18 points or 14 point bold, and that ratio is going to be 4.5 to 1 because it's smaller. So we need a little bit higher of a color contrast ratio since it's going to be smaller. So these two ratios apply to the double A success criteria for the web content accessibility guidelines version 2.1 and images of text are included. But in general, we want to typically stay away from images of text. Let's jump over and look at a few color combination examples and determine whether or not those are going to be accessible for these two different color contrast ratios. So before we jump in and look at different color combinations and determine whether or not they are accessible, this is a very good, very useful tool to figure out whether or not your color combinations are accessible. And this is the contrast checker by WebAIM. So what this tool does is we plug in our foreground color, our text color, the color of our check boxes into the left-hand side. We plug in our background color or an adjacent color into the background color, and it will actually calculate the ratio for us by default, it's on a blue foreground color, a white background color, which gives us a contrast ratio of 8.59 to 1. And we can actually scroll down and see for the double and triple A criteria whether or not that ratio passes or fails for the different success criteria. So this 8.59 to 1, remembering we need 3 to 1 or 4.5 to 1 for the double A criteria, this would pass for small text, large text, and graphical objects and user interface components. We can then scroll down and get a, a little bit of an explanation as to what the different ratios are that we need. Typically, we don't really ever go to a AAA level, but again, the higher the ratio is, the higher the degree of contrast between the two colors will be. So we can use this to evaluate our colors and figure out that ratio. We do typically want it to be as high of a ratio as we can possibly get. So let's look at a few different examples and see what their color contrast ratios are. Okay, so here we are inside of Canva on the left screen. We have the color contrast checker by WebAIM on the right side of the screen. And we're gonna walk through a few examples and plug these in to see what ratios we get out of them. So our first ratio, for the colors are going to be a blue background color with white text or white user interface components. So all we need to do within the color contrast checker is plug in our either RGB values or hex values, whatever color code you wanna use. I personally like to be a little bit more accurate. So I will grab the eyedropper tool and just hover over my foreground color here, which is white. Uh, I'm going to click to confirm that selection. You can see that it's updated the foreground color box on the contrast checker. We're going to do the same thing for the background color. In this case, it's going to be blue. Our ratio here is 8.13 to 1. So if we scroll down, normal text passes, large text passes, and graphical objects and user interface components pass. So this would be an accessible color combination for the WCAG AA standards. 
If we scroll down and we look at white text on black, I know there's a lot of controversy between dark backgrounds, black on white, white on black. You're going to get the same ratio depending, no matter if you plug it into the foreground color or the background color. So here, our foreground color is staying white. Our background color is now black. And we have a ratio of 21 to 1. So this is easily passing for everything. This is the highest ratio that you can get. And if we were to inverse this to make the background white and the foreground color black, we would still have a 21 to 1 ratio. This is the highest ratio that we can get. It's probably the most common color combination that we see on web pages as well. So next, I want to look at this orange on this darker blue color. Um, this is probably not a very col common color combination that, that's going to be used. But if we check the foreground color as orange and the background color as this sort of bluish color, we do get a 5.31 to 1, which does indeed pass for the double A criteria. It would fail for the triple A. But in general, we're going for double A conformance. So it would pass for large text and graphical objects and user interface components. This is a little bit surprising because it is a little bit difficult to read, especially the small text, but it does meet that 4.5 to one or greater contrast ratio. So now let's look at the black text or black UI components on a red background and see what that gives us. So our foreground color is black, our background color is going to be red, and our ratio is 5.73 to 1. So this, again, passes for all three according to the AA standard. When we get to this type of combination, so now we have pink on white or sort of a purplish pink, but if we were to plug that in as our foreground with white as our background, we can see that we get a 3.07 to 1. So for small text, this is not going to be accessible. For large text and graphical objects, user interface components, it is going to be accessible. So we could use this for something like a heading 1, a heading 2. We could use it for our toggles, our checkboxes, our links, things like that. But if the text is smaller than 14 point bold or 18 point regular, we would not be using an accessible color combination. And we get that same thing, but an even lower contrast ratio when we look at this sort of bluish, light, very light blue on white, we actually get a 1.57. This color combination would not be acceptable for any type of text or user interface component because it's again below that three to one or 4.5 to one. So when we're looking at our own web pages, our websites, we can pop into the WebAIM contrast checker, grab our foreground color, grab our background color, and very quickly determine whether or not that combination is going to be accessible. Let's jump over to a website and take a look at it in real, in a real life example. So here we are on my personal website. And a lot of the combinations I use are going to be either black and white, gray and white, some combination of those three colors. So here I have a few sentences down here underneath this picture of myself. Let's go ahead and see what this white on this charcoal gray gives us. So we got white as our foreground. We'll grab our background color. And if we scroll down, my ratio for this white on gray is equal to 12.63 to 1, which is well above those minimum contrast ratio thresholds. Um, if we scroll down, we have black on white, which we've already talked about, is going to be our highest contrast ratio that we can get. And I think those, oh, we can check this sort of teal color over here on the gray, which might be a little bit questionable. So let's check it out. Um, that text is a little bit small and hard to read or hard to grab the color for rather. So let's zoom in a little bit. So we get a little bit more pixels. So there we go. Mm. Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to get 
the right color. But there we go. Our ratio is 5.97 to 1 for this sort of bluish teal on this dark charcoal gray, which would indeed pass for large, small, and UI components at the AA level, but not for normal text at the AAA level. So this color contrast ratio could be a little bit higher. I could make this just a, a slightly lighter shade, and it would probably have a higher ratio. But in this case, it does pass those AA criteria. So that is a quick sort of tutorial on how to check your own color combinations to figure out whether or not they are accessible. We do want to be mindful of the sizes of our text. Again, 18 point or above, 14 point bold or above is considered to be large text. Anything below that would be normal text. I hope this video was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next one.